And here we go, moment of truth. Ready or not. Oh, almost, almost, here we go. Welcome back for another video today we got boom a little quick <laughs> this is definitely not going to be quick but we got package here boom and an engine bay here boom 300 zx twin turb skis engine bay we got a little a little mod tough mod we're gonna be attempting to take off the is it here yeah right there and try and replace all the injectors one of them went bad I think it was that one right there in there somewhere so that one went bad and instead of just replacing one we're gonna go ahead and replace all of them that's what's in this package but it's gonna be a daunting task since the whole plenum and all these cables has to come off in order for us to access the injectors um, there's other methods like drilling away at the plenum itself that we have access but we're not gonna go ahead and do that we're just gonna do it the right way remove everything at least attempt to remove everything and mark everything so that we know where it goes i think this is just gonna be one long time lapse of me taking everything off you might think oh you're a damn expert but i'm not i'm just a doctor you know i'm just a doc and i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try so go ahead and unbox these first and we'll get on to that later okay so this is what i have i have all these little plugs with the ends that way we can replace our old ones they're a little faded and cracked so Big plus, we have our little brackets and we have the injectors themselves. These are stock OEM 300ZX, I think they're 370ccs. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and remove all this nonsense. So kind of just a little update right now, I went ahead and removed the balance tube and all the fuel lines, got them over here, I got the bolts taped up to where they go, that way I don't forget where they go. So all I did here, pretty simple so far, just remove the fuel in from the filter right here and then the fuel back, which is right there, the fuel return line disconnect those that's what these two at the end are right there boom and then remove all these little vacuum hoses from the fuel lines also little vacuum hose there and i went ahead and removed right here where it goes into the first fuel rail i think and then the second fuel rail on this side so i've disconnected it here and there and it was attached here and here so took those off boom came right off also balance tube pretty easy it was just three nuts on this side two nuts on this side um line back here and then this big line right here came off and that was it that came off so all that came off next up is this wiring harness that goes to the coil packs coil pack here and then it goes into the injectors themselves so we're gonna have to unhook all those this whole harness is gonna pop off and then we'll go from there <laughs> but so far so good All right guys, enough of the time-lapse nonsense. We are back, I finally got this bad boy uninstalled. So, plenum on the side, got everything laid out on the table, that way you don't forget where anything goes. But, this is where we're at currently. So, boom, full access to the injectors, which we are gonna switch. And I figured now that the whole plenum is out, make things 
just a tad bit easier if I gotta, you know, take it off again later. So what I'm gonna do is the, what they call the water bypass. It's pretty much getting a hose that bypasses all these, uh, let me show you guys real quick. Ugh. All these ugly water lines. These water lines right here under the plenum, which pretty much serve no purpose that they go into these throttle bodies. I don't know if they're supposed to like cool them down or whatever, but I'm gonna take all these off. Don't really need them. A lot of people do them. Makes it easier to take the plenum off next time. So, uh, water line comes from the turbo and then it'll end up in there. That'll be one line. And then come on the other side and there's another water line down here this one i actually cut i wasn't able to get it off the plenum so i just sliced it i figured you know i'm gonna change it out anyways so this one goes from here to here so much shorter line than the one on the other side so that'll do that's the uh water bypass whatever plenum delete blah 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 so deletes these lines not all of them because we still need this and this but everything else this one yeah this one can go these hard lines can go so make it easier also uh ordered another gasket so by the time we put this back we should uh have that in the mail but back to the business these ugly injectors so now we have full access to these I also kind of broke the hard cover on this harness, so I'm gonna have to retape that. Uh, I don't know what they did here though. I don't know what kind of sorcery this is. I don't know if I, I, that doesn't look OEM, but it looks like they hacked into the mainframe. No, I don't know. But for some of the sensors, and then also some of the injectors, connectors broke. But good thing we have replacements. Um, also, we broke the coil pack things but no big deal as long as they stick on there we should be fine and these are a pain in the butt to get off these EGR lines I'll probably do a delete later not right now but these are a pain in the butt you pretty much have to unbolt them from the bottom they got these I don't know if it's these it might be these it might not be those it's these it's got these bolts coming down from the bottom you have to loosen them it's just a pain so what I did, I removed all the piping, <clears throat> all the air piping, as you guys can see, both of these, one goes into the throttle body, the other one goes or out of the turbo, and then on the other side, do the same thing. Gives you more access down here, but anyways, blah, 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 back to the injectors. Back with our kit here, our uh, replacement injectors, uh, they pretty much have all the hardware you need, you got the caps. You got the new little o-rings uh it's like i said new wires and new screws oh one actually came out so we're gonna have to you know replace these replace these with these so it shouldn't be too complicated these at least got the push to release kind of tab better than the little pins these are a pain in the butt to get while they're down there these kind of like hold them like Kind of holds it like that and you got to pull this thing out but that's why this thing came in handy while removing those anyways enough talking um these should be pretty is simple take off you got two bolts right here unscrew those the cap comes off pull them out pull the new ones in and cap them back on so pretty simple let's get right on to it Twenty minutes later, the first injector is out after I completely busted it. It was just, just, just didn't want to cooperate. But there we have it. Now that you take off your first old injector, these are the old style, I believe. Got a new style feed injectors, so you can't just plug these in like that. They come with a little adapter piece like this which you kind of just 
Mm, I mean, you could either place this in there first, seat it properly, which I will try. Mm, and then you add your injector. Here, I'll do it the other way. You get your adapter and you place it into your injector. Boom, there you go. All the way through, seat it properly. Now, come in here, boom, drop it in. Just make sure it seats down properly. Now we grab our cap. All right, and there you go, it's completely seated. There's no uh, fuel gonna come out of there. And that's pretty much it. You just converted from old style injectors to new style. Pretty easy. Now I gotta go all the way around, do the same thing. And then we'll pop this sucker back on and she'll be ready to rip once again. So we'll go ahead and do this and we'll get back on. All right, injectors are in. You guys can see, boom, all of them are in. Uh, fuel rail is in, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much ready to go. It's just waiting for me to switch out the connectors. Those I'll probably do after we install the plenum. So also another thing, I got my wire lines hooked up. This goes from down there, turbo, straight into this hose right here. That by bypasses everything on the plenum on that side. And on this side, I got this one hooked up right there. And this one I haven't hooked up yet, but it'll hook up down there. I just got the hose right here. I'm gonna go ahead and install everything first. That way this isn't in the way whenever I'm like tightening this or anything like that. So I'll leave this till the end. That way it doesn't get in the way, like I said. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit right here. Probably vacuum it. And then we'll put the plenum back on. We got all our water lines removed from the plenum. So those aren't gonna get in the way anymore. And I also got a new gasket just in case, you know, because the other one was old and brittle. So, got a new one. Gonna put this on there and then we'll throw it back on the car. So let me just give you guys a quick update so far. As you guys can see, I've soldered in the new connectors. Plenum is back on, new gasket is back on. And all these are nice and soldered. I just need to tape them up, make them look nice and pretty. And then we'll give it a test run and hopefully it works. If not, I'll probably cry, to be honest. But I'm gonna go get these taped up uh, Dremel out a little piece from there and get all the wires plugged back in, get the balance tube on, um, all the fuel lines installed, all the vacuum lines, all that good stuff, and then we'll give it a run and then we'll go ahead and try it out and see if it works. All right, so now that we have everything back installed, all the injectors, the plan back on, we are about to see if it finally starts for the first time ever. So give it a few, a few little primes. Make sure our fuel pump is working. That seems to be working. Just gonna do a few more times and here we go moment of truth ready or not oh almost almost here we go oh that is crazy it's been so long let's go check the outside real quick yeah there you go a little wiring job seems to be holding up pretty good sounds pretty good sounds healthy -hoo -hoo. damn Damn. 
sounds real good. Everything seems pretty fine. No check engine light, which is good. Damn. Well, you guys already know it starts finally for the first time ever. So, I still gotta go over a few little things to make sure it's ready to go, ready to run. So, next video for sure, we're gonna go out in the street and get her, get her out there for the first time ever. Hopefully she does pretty good and doesn't like break down on us. Um, but damn, that's a that's a pretty good <laughs> that's a pretty good feeling though. Uh, can't believe it. After like 40 plus hours of work into this car, we finally get it going. Damn, it feels good. Whew. Can't wait to get out on the street though. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Got the top, got the top off and everything. She's ready to go. Damn. I'm excited. Whew. Hopefully you guys are excited too. So make sure you guys subscribe for that first drive video coming up very soon. And we'll see what she we'll see how she handles her first time out on the street. And we'll see how fast this car really is. Maybe we'll get some, you know, we'll get some races with the with the Subi or with the Mustang. But damn, about damn time. Let's give it a good little rev. Ooh, damn. That <laughs> sounds pretty damn good. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out and always keep improving.